Hey Math Maniacs, it's Vanessa here with our bonus game from the vault to thank you, thank you, thank you for continuing to hit that subscribe button. We are well over 700 subscribers and we just really appreciate every time you hit it. It helps us out a lot, so please continue to do so. For today's game, what we're gonna be showing you is the product game. Now we can't take credit for creating this game. This is a Math Mania version and we'll show you how it's a Math Mania version soon because we made different versions of the game. But the original idea for this game came from the NCTM uh, website. And there's a really cool online version for any of you online teachers that you can send your students to that they can play online against a computer. Um, so this is a great game for practicing multiplication facts. Uh, and it also involves a lot of strategy. How this game works, and you'll see Ashley and uh, Nadine demonstrate it very soon, is at the bottom you'll see there's a factor row. And on the factor row, you'll notice there are two paper clips. The first player gets to decide what factors they want to put them on, and then place their bingo chip or their counter on the product. So if we have them on four times seven, we know that four times seven is 28. The first player could place there. The object of the game is like connect four, where you're trying to get four of your same color in a row, either vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. So if the first player has it on four times seven, the next player is only allowed to move one of the paper clips. So one of the factors stays the same and they can change uh, one of them to get a different product. So uh, player two might then keep this one on the four and decide that if they're going for the number 20, they would need to move the seven to a five. And then four times five is 20. They would place their color there. Um, I'm gonna stop explaining the game and pass it over to my friends, uh, Nadine and Ashley, to show you a game in action. So here to help demonstrate how to play, the product game, which we first learned about from the NCTM, we have Nadine and Ashley. All right, so I think they've decided that Ashley is gonna be the first player. Because she's the first player, she gets to place both paper clips on the factors that she wants. And then just a reminder that for each turn after that, you're only ever allowed to change one of the paper clips. So you're only changing one factor while one of them remains the same. And just a reminder, the goal of the game is to get four of your color in a row. It could be vertical, horizontal, or diagonal. Ashley, you can go ahead and start the game. Okay, I am gonna put it on three, and I'm gonna do three equal groups of six, three times six, which gets me a product of 18. All right, Nadine's turn. So Nadine now has to keep one of them on either the three or the six, and she can move a different one. And she's trying to figure out the best spot on the board for her to start making her uh, row of four. Okay, so she took the middle, which is always hard because you're cutting everything off for everything. It's like tic-tac-toe. Um, so I'm gonna try to go to the outside edge and I think I'm gonna start with five equal groups of six or five times six. And I'm gonna start here because then I have a couple of different ways to go. Okay. All right, do you see this? So not just the multiplication practice, you can also see the strategy um, and the problem solving thing that is involved in this game as well. All right, I am going to keep one on the five. So I'm gonna do five equal groups of two, which gives me a product, so five times two is 10. One on the 10. He, er, Ashley has started to make a diagonal line. Let's see what Nadine's next move is going to be. Is she going to be on the defense and try and block Ashley, or is she going to keep going ahead for her line? Oh, so I want to block her diagonal, but keep me going in, in a, a vertical or horizontal line. So I'm going to move this one to the one and have one times five and I'm going to put a counter here because then she has to move one of them to get 30 or 16. So let's see if Ash can figure out which factor to move. She is in fact going for the 30. I am going to move the one and change it to a six so that I have five equal groups of six to equal 30. Okay. 
Okay, Nadine's now, up next. We have to block, so I have to think of factors that are going to equal a product of 16. And I don't want to leave a two or an eight for her, but then I need that for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move the six to the three so that I have a three times five, and she still can't get that 16 yet. Oh. And I am closer to mine. Three times five is 15. Nice. So look at that strategic thinking Nadine just did. Besides about what she could get, she was also thinking about making sure she wasn't leaving a paper clip on one of the factors that would help Ashley close off hers. So I am going to move my five to a four to make it three equal groups of four to a 12 so I can shut her roll down. <laughs> oh man, you did shut me down. <laughs> But let me see what are my options here. Okay, so uh, let me go four uh, times one. And I'm gonna start to go up here and across. Okay. Still don't give her any choice. I have a question. Yes. What actually. happens if one of the players did wanna try getting to 16 but there's only, I know eight and two equals 16 or four times four. So can I put two paper clips on the same number? Absolutely, that's a great question because you will notice on the game board, there are doubles such as 16, 25, four, all of those ones would need you to have both paper clips on the same factor. You are allowed to have both paper clips on the same factor. Great question. Thank you, Ashley, for clarifying that. So with that clarification, I am going to move this paper clip to the four because like you said earlier, and even just now, I can have two paper clips on one digit. And I know that four equal groups of four gives me a product of 16. And I got four in a row. Yay! <laughs> so how we, uh, why we made this a math mania game uh, is because we wanted to provide you with different variations. We find games are often very successful with our students. For example, if they're familiar with the game Bump and they do that for addition, well then we create subtraction versions and multiplication versions. So some of the games that we know are favorites of theirs, we do that. So that's what we did with this idea that we got from the, from the NCTM. We have a version uh, and these will all be available for free download, of course, like all of our games for free on Teachers Pay Teachers. This is called the product game. This variation is for students who are going with products up to 81. And you'll notice we also have a version for those students. Uh, for us in Alberta here, they go up to five times five. Well, we made a version up to 36, which of course would be six times six. We decided that you could also play this as a subtraction game. So if you notice here at the bottom, you'll see all the different numbers. Uh, this version is a difference is to 12. So this would be probably good for grades one, kindergarten, grade two, maybe some grade three or four, depending on their ability. And you'll notice that we also have a version differences to 18. And the game's played exactly the same way where you have your two paper clips and you can only move one of them at a time to change what the difference is going to be. You're still trying to get four in a row. And of course, we can't forget about addition. We have a version where sums to 12, where you would have the different addends down here, two paper clips, same thing. You're changing one at a time to try and get four in a row. And we also created one to 18. Uh, we understand we are classroom teachers. You always have a range of ability in your classrooms. So we're just trying to create games that are very similar, but that hopefully you can print off and use to meet the different needs of the students in your classroom uh, while still having a great time and having your math being game-based. And if you really, really like enjoying um, getting free games and free activities for math, please, please push the button below and subscribe to us. We would really appreciate it. Woohoo!